size, strength leads into stability. Stability leads into the ability to control and express and absorb and produce force and energy throughout the delivery. There's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to cover within the screening that are related to instability breakdowns. So when I, I'm going to write up a full written report when I'm done with this screening and there's going to be some, some like stability progressions for you to incorporate uh, the first breakdown in, in terms of where, where we're, we're limiting our energy production into the ground. It's what I look at like drive leg mechanics. So your drive leg mechanics right now, um, I understand because there's just a limited amount of potential force due to the size, right? Like there's just limited amount of force potential that you could put into the ground at 160. But that doesn't mean that we need to be able to, or that doesn't mean that we still can't stabilize our, our drive leg and produce force into the ground. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to see within the progressions are drive leg mechanics. I think we can do a lot better job of your drive leg mechanics. Um, and I think that'll clean up some of the other things that, uh, that I see here in your delivery. Um, I see right off the bat, there's a limited amount of stride potential. Um, so I see that as a kind of a breakdown. Obviously everyone moves differently and everyone has different movement capacities. But when I look at like where your front foot is landing, so right here, and then as you follow through, you can see that the angle is cutting yourself off, right? So I look at it as like not clearing your hips. And then as soon as you finish your throw, now your front leg is going to have to spin off like that. So I think uh, it's appropriate to say that, you know, we're going to program not only drive leg mechanical like drill progressions and stuff, but we're also going to program some, some movement capacity, like mobility uh, pieces that I think can only benefit your ability to move through space. And also within moving more efficiently, you're also going to be able to increase that stride. And I think just give yourself more time um, within your, within your lower half. Okay. So uh, I know it's unfair to compare guys with glass. Now he does a lot of things really, really well, but just to give you some context as to what this looked like, See how he comes down from leg lift and that drive leg absorbs and stabilizes and, and then like essentially that corkscrews the rear hip and now he's producing force into the ground. You can see that the, the knee is stable and now as he goes into his drive phase, look how much space he covers. Now again, he's a freak of nature. I played with him like he does a lot of things freakishly. I'm not saying you need to look like this, but if we just look at the posture that he's in right here, man, this is extremely important. So you have you have him at anchor point, which is the front foot contact into the ground, hips into rotation, trunk is neutral. So this gives us that stretch, hip shoulder separation through segmentation of, of lower body rotation and upper body remaining neutral. All right, so this is that posture. And you can see that his glove side is still connected, still intact, still holding direction, okay? So with you, we get you down to your anchor point and you can see that you're already starting to pull glove side. Uh, for me, that's an instability thing, front side stability, trunk stability. You don't have the, the required, and this is not a dig, man. It's just like, look, I was 16. I grew super fast. I was six, four when I was 16, I was freaking super skinny. I didn't have stability either. I'm, I, I relate to this more than, you know, so you can see that the front side is kind of already pulling. You don't have the required stability to stabilize through space to optimize your direction, right? We talked about in the uh, PDF you sent back that your direction is suffering. For me, your direction is breaking, at, breaking down to a byproduct of front side instability. Like I said, you can't stabilize through space. So then you start to fall off um, with that upper half, which then leads you into essentially your inability to create separation through segmentation. You, your trunk is just going early, right? It's raining. Your trunk's going early due to that instability issue. All right. So you create limited amount of se separation and now you come through and another instability issue for me would be trail leg hip, uh, hip flexion, right? So you don't have the trunk stability to express energy back. Whereas like we want hip extension, right? We do a lot of things really well. Um, put size on, I'm pumped for you to get in the weight room and, and start working towards your stability. I think a lot of, you know, 
exercises and stuff like will just naturally clean up your your delivery because of that instability right there's a lot of forces and there's a lot of energy moving throughout our body and like i said if we're not stable enough to absorb express and deliver this energy then you're going to see these these breakdowns you're going to see your front side kind of fa uh, fall out you're going to see your trunk to start to rotate early you're going to see your trail leg shoot into flexion if we don't have that stability to truly own the forces and energy that are that are moving throughout us within the delivery within the throw okay um all right dudes robbie Rowe here thank you for watching that video if you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis you can click that link right there also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails hit that link right there subscribe please you can also check out that video right there which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that all right guys much love god bless till next time See ya. Strike three, you're out!